There are a number of things we artists can do to enhance our skills and make us better artists. Here's one that might surprise you. The skill is called Zen Drawing, Z-E-N Drawing. It's a way of drawing where you're not looking at your paper or where you're making the marks. Rather, you're feeling the image on the paper. You see where the Zen comes from? So we incorporate not just our sense of sight into this method of drawing, but also our sense of touch and our sense of feeling, our sense of perception. It's a wonderful way to get to know nature uh, up close. You've, you'll discover things, well, not just in nature, but whatever your subject matter is. Using the Zen drawing approach, you'll discover things you never knew were there. Uh, for example, Frederick Franck, who wrote the book Zen Seeing Zen Drawing, did a drawing of a, of a village and didn't notice until he looked at the drawing later on that he had caught there a man pushing a cart. So what Zen drawing does is it tunes you into the subject as well as tunes your perception, which is so key in becoming more involved in your painting and having a stronger and a, and a deeper artistic perception. So here's how Zen drawing goes. Uh, I'm using this mug as my subject and all you need is a pad that you can hold in your hand. This is important because it helps you to keep in touch with the drawing to, if you hold the pad in one hand and then your drawing tool in the other. And I think it's really better for Zen drawing to use a pen rather than a pencil. And I like this little Sharpie pen, little Sharpie fine a point pen. Any pen that has a sharp point uh, that's more of a felt tip type pen is really good for this. The kind of pen doesn't matter. What matters is that you have the nice flowing point. So here's the way it works. <clears throat> you hold your pen on your paper at a point where you feel the subject would begin you know, on your drawing. So if I, I'm looking at the subject right here, the cup right here, and if I would think uh, that my drawing is going, that's where my drawing is going to begin, I'll put my pen right there. Now, what do I do at this point? At this point, I don't look at my paper. But what I do is I allow my eyes to flow over the edge of the cup. I allow my eyes to flow over the edge of the cup. And I try to feel, feel the edges of that cup as I'm moving my pen over the paper. Just sort of feel those edges as I'm moving my pen over the paper. Now, that then is going to give us a very, very nervous looking line. It's inevitable that it's going to give us a, a nervous looking line. Now, but the more you do it and the more in tune you become with the cup or with the subject, the less the nervous line is. <clears throat> I want to do one where I don't talk while I'm doing it where I really try to tune in and feel. So I'm starting at the edge of the cup right here. There I get more of the sense of the feeling of the cup. The line is still kind of wobbly, but that's not important. What's important is that I actually felt I actually feel what the edge of that cup feels like. Now, if, if the wobbly line bothers you, it's inevitable when you're having the, the point of the pencil touching a uh, point of the pen touching your paper, it's inevitable that your line is going to be wobbly. If, if that bothers you, then allow your little finger to brace against the paper and try it again. Now, let me just turn over the paper like this and show you. Now this time my little finger is going to feel the edge of the cup with me. So, um, and by the way, don't allow your eyes to look at the paper while you're doing this. So it's a good idea to hold it down like this. Let me see if I can get it out here so that you can see it. It's a good idea to hold it down. Now I want to feel 
the side of that cup and I'm guiding allowing myself to feel the edge I'll stop when the direction turns and allow myself to feel the bottom and so on you see that time I got a less nervous line as I moved down the side of the cup and even though you couldn't see I was not looking at the paper I was feeling how it felt it is important that you try to keep it as much out of your uh, vision as you can it's what happens to us when we're drawing too often we get our attention placed on judging what's going on in the drawing so we'll make a mark and and we'll look at it and say oh that's not right or or uh, we begin to struggle and 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 begin to kind of sweat and not enjoy what we're doing thing is if you don't see what you're doing but you experience having the feeling of that of your pen following the line you actually feel on the paper you feel the edge of whatever the subject is on the paper as the pen flows along and as your eyes are moving along the edge of whatever the subject is now one thing here one experience that anything has practically no value when you're practicing uh, any drawing skill or when you're doing things to enhance yourself as an artist it needs to be a constant thing many 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 times so let me suggest to you that you practice Zen drawing for at least five or ten minutes a day and if you will do that for say over a month period of time I will I bet you will be totally surprised at how your painting skills will improve or even if you're a sculptor or working in any other medium you're going to see that you have a much stronger and deeper perception of your subject than you did before. If you found this quick tip helpful you might also browse our instructional videos they're full length found at dianemise.com they're available in downloads and DVDs numerous selections give it a try and there's your quick tip.